What's up guys, this is Share talking. welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will try to defeat Antonius on this new event. That is actually kind of hard. This guy here has a lot of direct and indirect slash attacks. Sometimes it also has spears, sometimes it also has sun, but 90% is just a slash. Hence why they were giving us a bait slash stones on conquest. You can equip them, but I don't think that changes too much. But this guy here attacks like five to six times sometimes in a single turn on turn four and i believe on turn nine again this guy will just do insane amounts of damage he will also remove your endurance buffs every two turns because they want to kill you as soon as possible now the formation that we just got with this update is really useful here but i eventually just change it to something else we got this new one here let me show you call it Rising King, that is like Rising Phoenix EX, but made for endurance. This will give 50% endurance to everyone, so this will always be active. You will not be able to remove. And slot number one will draw more enemy attacks and buff STR, endurance, and will. So that you can use counters, right? But counters were not working so well for me. Maybe they will work for you. So I will show you my first strategy. I switch it into here guard focus formation because here I have damage reduction for three slots. That was actually helpful. And I also still have some endurance buff to three slots. Those cards, they are a little more fragile. And I have increased the damage for two slots. Slots four and five where my nukers are placed. And those nukers do have defense boost so that they will survive much better. But now let's talk about my characters. I brought the newest Final Impress because she buffs Endurance and she also has Karatsu Wisteria Blade that can evade on full HP with 25% chance and also guarantee evasion when you are not on full HP. Well, it can help. I also inherited Imperial Shield to use that on turn 4 and 9. And on turn 5, he will try to counter you. So it's good to use Overdrive on that turn. Then I have... Of course, Razen, because Razen is going to use Resonant Regent Blade instead of Relief Zone. You can use any, depends on what you have. If you have Valdor, it's better to use Resonant Regent Blade, because Relief Zone buffs Endurance, and Endurance buffs will be removed. Now, Valdor is here just for an FDP reduction, but also because of Defense Boost. And in the back row, I have Creator. It's going to use Creator's Flare on Overdrive only. Not on Overdrive, use either Glitter or Purge. And here in the back row, I also have Mirza, because he deals insane amounts of damage. This boss is weak to Slash, so he is on his prime here. Boss is not just weak to Slash, though. He's also weak to Sun, so a creator deals a lot of damage here as well. So my equipments were always uh, geared towards defending versus Slash. And let me show you what I did bring here. I still have some Pierce Resistance, though, as you can see, just so that they are not negative. That's all I brought. Okay, so let's go here in the fight. And you can already start with Karatsu Hysteria Blade. And Razen is going to use Resonant Regent Blade. Valor with High Spirity Palm. And Creator with uh, Creator's Flare because it's on Overdrive. Here's that we just use Heroic Stance. Now let's talk about some alternative characters. If you don't have Valdor, you can bring Death. And I think most people who have Razen. So, I don't think about an alternative here. You can also bring that tank Gusta with Scrum Guard in Let's Paint in the place of this Impress if you don't have her. Instead of Mirza, you can also use Sumir. Creator was very popular, but I don't know. Another card that you can use here is the newest Noel. He's super good on this fight. Extremely good, to be honest. Because this Antonius attacks way too much times. So, lots of VP generated to make your uh, Noel better on healing. See there, we are deflecting. That's because of Karatsu Wisteria Blade. And Antonius loses a lot of damage because of Intimidated from Creator. But that is only used on Overdrive, though. So, this turn, I don't have enough for Wisteria Blade. So, we'll just use Holy Protection Blade. If you desperately need for heal, you can use the... Dual Holy Moon, but I don't think I need. If I need, I'll use Relief Zone. But now I will use Resonant Regent Blade, Powder with Pound, and uh, I guess I would better use Glitter just to get some. No, no, Purge. And a Stance. Maria should be useful here as well. 
probably in the place of either Valdor or Final Impress or Razen. You need three support units. It's way too much damage from Antonius. Yeah, that's okay. Ruin is not hurting too many characters. Deflect is nice. Urge. Glitter gives defense boost, that's what I wanted. Since they are a little more unprotected in the back row. Just be careful, this turn 3 is still not dangerous, but turn 4 is dangerous. But now it's time to use Karatsu Wisteria Blade now. And I think I'll heal my party, it's good. High Security Palm, then Glitter. Finally left fork, and we start nuking with Mirza till Antonius dies. That will happen probably by turn 9 or something. Another character that works here is Medea, but there's a problem with the turn order. If Medea debuffs Antonius uh, before Antonius attacks, he may trigger his Defy Weakness and, well, it won't matter much. I think it depends on the formation and she will help more. Okay, left fork. Let's see if Mirza cheeses. He didn't, but that's still okay. On the start, I'll use Imperial Shoot because he goes nuts. I don't know what happens. You ha can have lots of defensive layers. He will still do way too much damage. So, Imperial Shield. I can actually save BP right now and use something like White Bull Strike. And... Hound. Hopefully I got everyone in overdrive. And this turn I can... Hmm. I don't know if I'll have enough, but I think I will. So let me just use Purge. No, 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 no. But I use Glitter. I think Mirza may still not get into overdrive. It will depend if Antonio's attacks with more AoEs this turn. It's important to get. His attack deals insane amounts of damage. Harvest Blade increases his damage as well. It's AoE and also super strong. Please attack Mirza. Not like that. Mirza has to chase in order for us to get to overdrive, I guess. Do it, Mirza. Yes, maybe you'll get into overdrive now. Yes. Awesome. If you do not have the Impress uh, Full Negation Shield, you have to get good RNG with her other skill. Now I will just use Holy Protection Blade. Resonant Radiant Blade. Found. And I'll still have to use Purge or Creator's Flare. Well, Creator's Flare. This will give me the Intimidated status. And I still have another left fork. Next turn I won't have left fork, but... At least for now. Lots of defense boosts as well. Even if Antonius is strong on this turn. Because when he uses his sun attack, he boosts his damage for some turns, not just that turn. He will survive because of this overdrive. And this turn he does not do much damage since he wants to counter you. Wow, we win. He can use this two times even. He did it. Remove it endurance buffs. Let's use Wisteria Blade, Radiant Blade, Spirity Palm, Purge. I guess Antonius will die by the next turn, but we'll see. Reader needs heal. But I am healing. No, no, I'm not healing this turn. Forgot. Hopefully he doesn't die. I think he won't. 
just deflect it. That's nice. Because of uh, Wisteria shoot. Yeah, that was a very good turn. Purge. Flitter. You wanna be safe? Well, now I have Imperial Shield to guarantee that I'll be alive. Since I'll have another left fork, I guess this is a good time to finish this fight. Especially now with attack boost. This turn he's not that offensive. Now it's all about left fork. Yeah, too much damage. Didn't even need to land the last hit. Well, this works. Now you have to discuss a second squad. Okay, the second squad uses Mystic Line Formation because most of his attacks are indirect, but not all of them. I am using Mages this time with Saruin's lead. Yeah, I know, Saruin is weak to Sun, but I feel like Antonius only used his Sun attack on turn 4, probably on turn 9 as well. So just be prepared for those turns. Saruin is the leader, then we have Razen with his Regent Blade. We're gonna have to keep using this. Then we have Rock. Rock with her Lightning Barrage from the Bunny Style Inherited, so that she deals more damage. We also have Witch's Daughter, she will be giving BP to Rock, so that she has a better cycle. And we also have Death, for damage reduction. The equipments here were all geared towards decreasing uh, Slash damage and protecting Saruin and Death versus Sun at least, because they are weak to Sun. And having some of my best stuff on Rock, because she needs that for Intrinsic. Well, that's the squad. Then let's go. Saruin will have to charge with Wave of Malice. Since this is turn 1, Recent Regent Blade. Rock will have to use her Lightning Barrage first. Death will keep casting Dark Barrier all the time, with which daughter giving BP to Rock. Let's talk about some replacements here. Um, Saruin is kind of good. You can bring Noel. Especially because of Saruin. Instead of which daughter you can bring um, Maria. It will be useful for that evasion shield as well. You can still bring Final Impress if you want. Instead of Rock, you can also use Aspergal. I guess those are very good alternatives. You see many indirect attacks. So they are being uh, reduced. You have to use lots of healing with Razen in this fight, but it's still not time. Lightning of Darkness, Dark Bear here. And I will give Festival Food to Rock again. It's good to build a stack of BP with Rock. Some of your characters may die in this fight, but Death is here to revive them. Antonius is just too strong. My weakness <laughs> ever. That's nice. Way too many direct attacks, see? She deflected. Thank you. Two times even! That's good. She's now on overdrive and we will use this turn for uh, something interesting here. Hopefully you can still get into overdrive later on turn 5 again. Sweet smell. You'll get some good buffs here. Even if he removes my endurance buffs, I'm still getting intelligence buffs. Agility buffs. Those are nice.
then she has the extra attack because of the inheritance. Now Wave of Malice. Will Swing, it's kind of strong. But no one here is close to death though. But now, we have someone dying. This is turn 4 guys, the turn where everything happens, so we need to be careful. I will use Merciful Light. Lightning of Darkness, Dark Bear here, Sweet Smell. And if someone dies, they die. Can't do much. But death will revive. He didn't kill Razen. Now Razen died. Yeah, the character that he chooses to use that strong attack will probably die. But we just revive it, right? We lost buff still. This is turn 5. Time to use overdrive with what I have. I can use this this turn. I'll give festival food to rock again, I guess. That will be probably one of my last times using it. Nice resin, thank you for the cheese, it really helps. But he used the Defy Weakness after I debuffed him. Although the attack down will not be removed. Razen can heal on this next turn, so you're okay. And he just chased it. I mean, he just charged his heal again. Now it's a cycle of Evil Grudge. We may not need to heal now, so I will use Resonant Regent Blade while I still have enough VP. Rock will be attacking on overdrive together with Witch Daughter. So that we have buffs and debuff. I just hope Antonius don't use the fire weakness right after. Sweet sweet lightning of boat. <laughs> Look at the name of this combo man. Funny one. You got a combo with Evil Crudge. Really hates Resin. That's <laughs> 666 death. <laughs> that was funny. Immortality. Guys. I don't feel like I need to heal yet. I need to heal the next turn though. How much BP I have with Rock? She has plenty. Should I give BP to who then? I think I'll give to Ruler Zen. Rezen always needs BP. Whoa, 800. Just remember that Sorin is not getting STR buff via formation. Only via buffs. Ah, my weakness. Yeah, we're too fast. He still hate on Rezen. Oh, 
are dying here. Razen will not revive if he gets killed. I don't think I need to use Overdrive this turn. I will use on the next one. How much BP will she have in the next? Cannot use this two times. I have to save some BP. Very nice, Rosin. Next turn is gonna be dangerous. Almost kill a rock there. It's not the next turn, exactly this turn. This was the dangerous turn. We survive it! <laughs> so it's turn 4 and then turn 8, not turn 9. I was wrong. I have another merciful light. I can actually just use the other word sight now on overdrive and try to push for damage. Whatever dies will be revived, it, so. He will still win. But no, I guess we will win because of damage. Ah, Antonius has way too much HP. Another word, sight is too strong, right? Not that much. He didn't die. Way too many direct attacks. While well, we're in 1.2k. <laughs> oh my god. But I am too fast now. It's the end. Just accept, Antonius. Who will die? Ten turns. It's quite a lot. We did it, boys! We did it. Two different squads, and it was exactly okay. First try when recording. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this can help you. Please share here on the comment section which team you use it, and I hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Bye.